Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Training Partners, along with Bob Iacchino, checking in on Apple. A nice little sell-off. Remember, we've talked about this big double top with the full target being 197.13. That was clearly hit today, and we dropped through it. Let me switch that daily chart so we can review that here. So then last week, we then drew our GAN levels from the high down to this low to come up with our key areas we are watching. We're watching about the 93.79 and this rising 200. So the, about the 193 to 194, I meant 193, 193.79. So 193 to 194 area was very key. That's where the lows were today. If we break through that level, then we're watching for 189.41 is the next projected level down. We did fill in this gap. See over here that was left behind back from the end of July. End of July to beginning of August. We filled the gap to this prior uh, resistance level. But in order to fully fill it to these highs the day before, it would drop to 192.12 area. And to the close would be about the 190.30 area. So... Real areas I'm going to be focused on if we get below the 200 is 189.41 to 190.30 area to watch for a bottoming pattern down there. Now we did leave a, behind a gap from last Thursday to Friday and definitely a big gap from Friday to today. So on any rallies, the first area we'll be watching for resistance is 202.55. Then we'll be watching for the full gap fill to about 204.40 with the declining eight. So those are the two areas we'll be watching on any rally. So if you definitely, those would be areas to pick, to move a stop up if you were bottom fishing down here. If we had a major rally, then we'd be watching for a return to about the top of the declining rotation zone, which right now is coming in at 211, but that's going to keep shifting down, especially if we drop lower. So keep those levels on your chart and keep watching those. Those are the significant levels. So the rotation zone on the daily is against us now, which means you have to be more cautious with just buying Apple. And we're going to be watching on the weekly again here to see if we get the first cross rotation zone or if we also have the 50 right here. So this is very key support and it's prior resistance. So you see back resistance, uh, beginning of June, resistance, middle July, then we broke through. So now we're gonna see if that becomes support with traditional price action analysis resistance tending to become support. So watch for those key levels. That's what we'll be watching for reversal patterns in Apple. And we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.